and welcome to Lewis's Adventures Place po Pokemon Go with me, Lewis Marinucci, as your host. This will be a continuation from the last video as we continue our search for Celebi. We will be doing quests 5 through 8 and we'll also be doing events like searching for shiny Moltres and we'll be finding out what the Ultra Unlock bonus from the events that we completed this past summer will be later on this month in Pokemon Go. We just did it. We completed task number five. And thanks to Todd Van Wagner, he gave me my very first unknown, which is the leather M. Hopefully I'll be able to find the others eventually with some help. In the meantime, later on, I'll be going to do the Pineapp part of the quest and even starting the seven day spin a Pokestop routine until I complete this quest. Stay tuned everyone. Well, Moltres Day has officially started in Pokemon Go. I'm on my way to Center City in, in search of hopefully my first shiny Moltres and my third shiny legendary as well as my third Pokemon encountered during a raid. I did a bunch of raids that day and of course despite failing to catch a shiny Moltres and only getting regular ones I still had a blast. I met a lot of people that day and they were nice. They included Paige and a whole ton of others raiding. Some people did catch Shy Moltres while I didn't. But I will hopefully get one through a trade in the future. Well, yesterday I caught no shiny Moltres at all. Just seems it was just a bad day for me. But, I will trade for one with someone one day. And, we will continue with this video with the search for Celebi. Which, this week I should have Celebi in my collection. As well as be at level 40. And lastly, Niantic on September 10th will be announcing what the Ultra Unlock bonus will be. Stay tuned as that is announced when it is. Well, it's official. The unlock bonus is the return of the Kanto legendary birds until September 20th. Mewtwo is officially a raid boss until October. And last but not least, we get all the Gen 1 regionals, including Kangaskhan, Mr. Mime, Farfetch, as 7k eggs, even Tauros as well. And we've made it to the seventh level of a ripple in time. We are getting close to finally capturing Celebi. Now I have to make an excellent throw and catch 40 grass or psychic type Pokemon. But I already have the Johto medal, so this makes it a little bit easier. And I hopefully should be at level 40 sometime today or later this week. After weeks of hard work and completing numerous tasks, I had finally got to the moment i have been waiting for. The moment was finally catching Celebi. Which of course, originally people who went to GoFest were the ones who caught it first. And it was a lot of fun, but it wasn't easy. But of course, despite having a bad day, catching Selby, along with making it to level 40, which I will talk about later on in this video, definitely made my day. Well, finally, Celebi has been caught. Now the only thing that's left is to get to level 40, which should happen anytime soon. If not today, maybe tomorrow, 
or sometime this week, but I'm getting close. Stay tuned, everyone. I finally did it. I finally reached level 40. What a day it has been for me in Pokemon Go. First, I catch Celebi. Then I make a trade for two lucky Pokemon. Then I catch a shiny Bulbasaur before I left for my dive club meeting over at Scoobadelphia. And finally, I hit level 40 on my way home from that very same meeting. Stay tuned as I will bring you coverage of Community Day, including shiny Chikorita and more. This just in is confirmed. Deoxys will be the next EX Raid boss, replacing Mewtwo. As soon as I eventually get another EX Raid pass to do my first potential Deoxys EX Raid, I will let you know and I will cover this in a future video. Well, during my search for Celebi at my journey to level 40, and the lead up to community day, I was able to catch four shinies. But of course, during community day, I traded one of them to my friend who needed a shiny Magikarp. The first was a shiny Bulbasaur on the very day I caught Celebi and made it to level 40. Then the day after that, I ended up hatching a shiny Wyant, which then I evolved into a, a Wobbuffet, and then the day after that, as I was on my way home from work, I ended up catching a shiny Snubble, and then the following week, I ended up catching the very shiny Magikarp that I traded it for a Volbeat, and I also finally did get a Volbeat. The first one I had had bad IVs, but when I traded for the new one, I ended up Getting a better one. And we are on our way downtown to Washington Square Park for Ch Chikorita Community Day. Where I'm going to be joining up with Sinbad and St. Nick and the others. About Sinbad, by the time I got to Washington Square Park, towards the end of the event, he had left for his job. But of course, in the end... I'll never forget having fun on Community Day. Chikorita Community Day was a blast. I walked around Center City from Washington Square Park to 13th and Chestnut, did some raids, a couple of Mewtwo raids, failed to catch Mewtwo, but of course I did raids at three EX gyms including 13th and Chestnut over at Washington Square Park and lastly the Liberty Bell but unfortunately I did not get an EX raid pass from those raids because of the fact they weren't being issued at the time until two days after Community Day. The day of Chikorita Community Day the mysterious Pokemon which Pokemon Master Holly nicknamed Squishy Nut started appearing in Pokemon Go, thinking it was a glitch when clearly it wasn't. Then, three days after Community Day, the official announcement for this Pokemon was confirmed on the official Pokemon YouTube channel as a tie-in with the new Nintendo Switch titles, Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee, and the mysterious Pokemon was officially named Meltang, a Steel-type Pokemon, which of course hints at a future quest involving this Pokemon because you can potentially transfer this from Pokemon Go into Let's Go Pikachu or Eevee versions. We are, jo we are joined here by Gamer Chew. And this, this thingy. Yeah, that's allegedly a Gen 8 Pokemon. And we have Saint Nick over there and the whole gang. Well, we close this video out with saying the real final count of shinies I caught was 17. And we had a blast. Hopefully, I will get an EX Raid Pass for Deoxys.
Though I failed two times to catch Mewtwo today, but that's no big deal since I already caught Mewtwo in numerous EX raid battles. If you like this video, please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell of alerts for when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And remember, it's time for adventure!